Hi guys, I'm in the middle of painting a large barn owl painting. Now this is going to take me a few days to finish. So in the meantime, I thought I'd show you a painting that I did last year. This is a little fairy wren. Now the last fairy wren I demonstrated was facing the front. So this one's turned in a different direction. So let's take a look at him. And this is the reference photo that I took. This is one of the male fairy wrens that lives down the back of our property. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint some water onto his neck and I'll take that water down onto his chest as well. And I paint the water on as carefully as I paint the paint on. This is a little bit of Windsor Violet that I'm putting onto his neck. And this colour is Cerulean Blue. Now I've got some French Ultramarine Blue and I just let the colours blend on the paper together. Now for a darker colour this is indigo and I'm just running it down the front of his neck and I'm letting it bleed onto the paper. Putting some back here as well. I don't want to completely cover those other colours that I've put on there. I want them to still show through. A little bit darker now with some more indigo blue. I'm just going to take it up onto his shoulder now. I'm just going to take it carefully around that line of light blue feathers that are going to go in there. And then when I'm finished here I'll take it up onto the back of his neck. So I've wet the paper here first so I'm painting on damp paper. This is the indigo and now the violet, the winds of violet. More indigo and I'm just letting the colours mix on the paper. And I bring that indigo around onto the feathers in front of his eye. You can see that I've left those other colours showing through. I haven't completely covered them. Now I'm wetting down further. And this is a grey that I've mixed from ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Painting onto the damp paper. More down here. This is damp paper as well. And I'm leaving the white paper showing. So just painting around those feathers to form them. And now I'm going to drop in some Windsor Violet here and there. Continuing on with these feathers down here. Painting on damp paper again. And then I drop in the winds of violet again, just to add interest. This is more of the watery grey that I mixed. This time I'm actually painting on dry paper. Just adding a few flicks up through the white area, painting on dry paper here. his eye now and I'm painting the outer part of his eye in sepia, painting on dry paper. And while that dries I can wash in his bottom beak in lamp black, again painting on dry paper. This is cerulean blue, 
and washing it onto the top of his head, just on the dry paper. And while that's still wet, I can drop in some more pigment. Some watery cerulean blue along here. Back to his eye, I can fill in the pupil with some black and I'll make sure I leave a little white highlight. I can paint around the edge carefully with black as well. Top beak now, and this is watery indigo. I've just painted his cheek patch in with cerulean blue. It's dried, now I'm re-wetting it and dropping in some more pigment. Okay, onto his wing feathers now, and this is some watery burnt umber. And now I'm coming back with some more pigment. I'm just painting a few markings with my liner brush. The paper's damp. And the dampness of the paper just keeps all those edges nice and soft. So I'm not painting hard lines. Just painting the little centre parts of the feathers there. And now that the paper is dry, I can come back with some more pigment. And I can paint over my pencil lines. So this is sepia now. Some more burnt umber on these wing feathers that are tucked in here. And now some sepia while the paint's still wet. And now I can wash in his tail feathers. This one's French ultramarine blue and I'm painting on damp paper. And then while that's wet, I'm going to drop in some violet, just here and there. And this is watery lamp black, painting on dry paper again. And now I've turned my paper because I like to pull strokes towards myself when I'm doing this sort of thing. So just little flicks. I've actually dampened the paper here. Now I'll just Putting a little bit more sepia back down here on these wing feathers and some Windsor Violet onto damp paper up here. A little bit of lamp black now. Indigo again here. Back to this tail feather, now that it's dry I can add a bit of detail to it. And I can wash in the other ones. Just painting on damp paper again. And this is indigo. Just painting some watery burnt sienna onto his leg. And while that's wet I can drop in some permanent magenta. I've just washed in this other leg with the burnt sienna, very pale wash, and now I'm just putting a little bit of permanent magenta onto this leg, very watery. And this is Windsor Violet. And I've painted his claws in with the grey mix. Now I've wet the branch between his legs and I'm just using the grey that I mixed just to start washing it in. And I leave little bits of white paper showing. And while that's wet I can drop in some of the Windsor Violet. Then the same thing down here. I'll drop in some Violet down here as well. And 
the same thing up here. This is winter violet that I'm running along the edge. Now the branch is dry and I'm painting in the cast shadow of his leg. I'm using Windsor Violet. And another one down here, just with the Windsor Violet. And before that dries, I'll drop in some ultramarine blue. So there's the blue. I've re-wet the branch between the legs and now I'm dropping in just a touch of indigo along the top edge. And there's my finished painting. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and share this video with your friends if you found it useful. And I will see you in the next tutorial and hopefully it will be a barn owl. Thanks guys. I told you I love fairy wrens. Hi guys. I'm in the middle, <coughs> losing my voice. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the meantime, I thought I'd show you a painting that I did last year. Hear the birds? Now the last fairy wren I painted. Now the last fairy wren I demonstrated was facing the front and this one's turned in a different direction.